Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, I guess. I mean, it's similar to the first Fort of Fortune Steel video in which I uploaded, which you can check out here. However, uh, in today, I'm more going over PvP analysis rather than a Fort of Fortune or like a, a PvP steel. It's more of uh, just an analysis of what's going through my head, what's going through Sam's head when we are PvPing and trying to take down an enemy ship. Now, I figured this would be kind of useful as uh, a lot of people kind of struggle with PvP in this game. And uh, for me and Sam, I think we probably win 95%, if not 99% of our battles against other ships. We just have this kind of synergy and strategy, which always works for us. And it basically is a... Is it, you can't lose unless you just get read by the blunderbuss or the sword or whatever or you just get completely destroyed by four people swording you from a galleon at one time and you're just insta dead but just before we get into this video i do want to say that uh, if you didn't know i stream three days a week over at twitch i stream every monday wednesday and saturday I stream from about maybe 2 or 3 p.m. to about 10 or 11 p.m. GMT plus one or UK time. And uh, yeah, that's that. You can always check me out over there. I'm always doing PvP uh, steals or I'll just be chilling with chat, just solo slooping. And you get to come and talk to me. It's kind of like a mini Q&A. Uh, so if you don't already, come and follow me over there. Turn on notifications and I'll see you over there. It's at twitch.tv forward slash sea of concepts. And also, if you haven't already, join up in the Discord because the Discord is getting a little bit lonely. It's just I off a little bit and I you know I like seeing the community engage and I like seeing all of you kind of come together and create a crew and go in game and whatnot it's just nice to see you guys and you can also talk to me I love talking to you uh so join that links in the description and uh yeah I think that about that, that's everything so far leave a like subscribe if this content uh is you know like something that you're interested in so uh, yeah let's get into the video so uh basically in this video Sam and I were going for a steal a tuck steal on a Fort of Fortune, but uh, while we were gathering supplies for our ship, stopping off at forts, getting kegs and a robo and good fruit and whatnot, they actually finished the Fort of Fortune. But luckily, for some reason, they decided not to open the, f the, the, the vault straight away, um, and they were just kind of chilling with the key on their boat for a couple minutes. Then um, a, a sloop actually came in, and we had to deal with them, and uh, basically, we ended up we ended up getting the loot. Let's be real. There's never a time, well, very rarely a time where I won't end up with the loot if I'm not solo. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically the kind of background to this. Where there's a Fort Fortune, we're trying to steal it. We are sat behind some rocks. We've got a rowboat with kegs. We're going to rowboat over, and then just as they finish it, we're going to keg them and uh, or just as they open the vault we're going to keg them and then boom we have the vault to ourselves put all the loot on a rowboat dip that's the plan but uh as you'll see it doesn't exactly go that way so as you can now see here in this footage we have decided we are going in for our rowboat play they've opened the vault and it is go time it is time for us to make our move time to swoop in and destroy these guys but uh i see a sloop I see a sloop coming in from the direction which we are facing and I realize they are also coming in for the steal and me and Sam have to quickly decide do we wait for the sloop to try and engage on the brig or the galleon sorry or do we go in on the galleon get all their stuff get them out of the equation and then just fight the sloop with the stationary cannons on the island and even if we die we have a respawn just at the rocks next to us and they won't know that. So we actually decide, let's go in on the, the galleon because they've been putting loot on a rock and harpooning it. They're going to be, well, so, so we thought they would have a lot of loot on their ship already. Disclaimer, they didn't. Um, so we could have waited. But um, we th we figured, okay, they've got four man. They're going to have a, a bit of the loot. They're, they're, they might even end up leaving and the sloop will just be on a chasing spree. We'll just have to chase them to the end of the world. So we think, okay, Let's go in on the Galleon. Let's go and sink them and get them out of the equation and fight this sloop. So I'll just let that play out now. 
Oh, also, um, it was at like 2 or 3 a.m. for me, so you're going to hear uh, me whispering. So if you don't like ASMR or like that kind of whisper voice, then uh, I sincerely apologize. But uh, it's worth watching, trust me. This is probably some of the best PvP footage you're going to see in Sea of Thieves. One's on the rock. They don't see us, they don't I see, see us. Go with the cake, go with the cake. I'm, 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 I'm. He's behind He's us. I hit him. I killed him. I'm blowing cake. Yep. They're trying to board. Just cover the ladders. Cover the ladders with me. Yep. Shot one in the wall. He's dead. I need to reload. Cover. He's reloaded. I hit him. I didn't him. He's dead. Oh. I killed another one. Good shit. They're filling quick. They're pretty much gone. Yeah, they're gone. Okay, uh, drop the robo. Let's start filling up. Now, as you have just heard, Sam has told me to start loading the rowboat. Now, as many of you can probably guess, this is because, okay, we've sunk the galleon. Let's just get all the good loot, all the loot we need. We can leave all the terrible crates of rarity and exotic silks here. We don't care about that. We just want the main stronghold stuff and, uh, like, Athena items. So we're going to chuck them on a rowboat, get it on a rowboat, sail away. Happy days, right? But then the uh, sloop is actually pretty close and we realize we don't have enough time to load up all of the loot. So we're going to have to use our stationary cannons and the cannonballs provided from the island and the towers to actually take down this sloop. So uh, you're going to be able to see what the sloop does and how we counter that, how we play around that and use that to our advantage. And I'll also show you what the sloop did wrong, what we did right, what we did wrong. And uh, sort of just, uh, yeah, I'll just analyze this upcoming fight. So, let's go. He hit, he hit me with a sniper, I mean. He's trying to sword launch me. He missed. He's dead. Oh, they're going to be pussies. Yeah, they're going to be pussies and not do anything. So, uh, as Sam has just uh, acknowledged, uh, they're going to be bitches and they're going to, you know, circle the island shooting off and try and get maybe some of the loot from the water. And they're basically going to play the passive game. They're not going to try and come in. These guys know what they're doing, or at least a little bit. They know what they're doing and uh, they're not going to go full ham at the island because they know we have stationaries and we can uh, sink their ship that way. So uh, I decide, okay, let me get on the cannons. I'll just use some of the cannonballs on their sloop. Let's try and put some holes in them, make them panic, lose their sense of direction, sort of just put them in a bit of a... a st it's basically applying pressure. You learn this in any game that you play. If you uh, get to the higher ranks, apply as much pressure to the enemies as you can to try and make them make the mistakes, and then you capitalize off of their mistakes, which you will see uh, us do here. He's next, 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 next to you. I didn't hit him, I didn't hit him. I hit him. He's dead. That's good shit. So uh, we've now got information from this that there are two of them. Uh, they're both the, pretty much the exact same pirate. They're both pretty much split copies of each other. One of them is double gunning sniper pistol. One of them is sniper sword. Um, and we, we know that, okay, they like to shoot out and they like to try and force fights. Okay, so what do we do? Stick together. We're going to stick together. One guy can't kill two of us with two two shots, you know. So uh, what do we do? We, we stay together. If we both know someone's coming over or if one of us calls that there's one of us on each other, we'll run towards the other person um, because then that allows us to have four shots instead of two. Um, and yeah, so now we realize, okay, all they're going to do is keep shooting over and try to kill us. Let's not get in a position where we can get easily killed. So, um, after about five more minutes of us loading the robo and killing them as they keep shooting over, uh, they, they didn't manage to kill us once. We just stayed together, killed them, kept loading the robo. That's about it. They decided to make the fatal, fatal mistake because they got impatient. They knew we were getting loot. We, all we had to do was just keep killing them and buy time. 
and they also knew maybe the galleon's on the way, maybe not. So, what happens? They get too close to the island. I don't have any chains on me, and I miss the angle to get on their ship. However, Sam has the sword on him, so what does Sam do? He swords over to their ship, and what does he also do? He gets the anchor. Now, if you didn't know this, when you board a ship, you always want to get the anchor. It doesn't have to be the first thing you get, but you always want to at least get the anchor down to allow someone to catch up to them, if you're on a ship at least. And uh, he gets the anchor. Now, what does this allow me to do? I get on the stationaries, I look around for some chain shots and cannonballs in the, uh, the, the island barrels, and I find some. So now I'm like, okay, let's chain them. Let's spam cannon them, try and hit them off their deck, try and hit them when they're raising the uh, sail, try and hit them when they're repairing, try and hit them off their cannon, off their anchor, and just be a nuisance. Buy time for Sam, because Sam boarded and died, buy time for Sam to come back through the ferry of the damned onto our ship and bring our ship round. That's all i got to do. Now it's me in a 1v2. I can't go aggressive. If I go on board their ship and die, we lose the fort. We lose it. I mean, unless we come back and sink them, but then the pressure's on us. Then all the pressure's on us. The tables have completely turned. Now they have angle, to, although they can go and attach our robo onto their ship and sail away. So I need to stay alive on the fort. I need to main, remain grounded and defend the fort as Sam comes over. Whereas if I had boarded them and died, it's over. Pretty much. We've got to get over there and we've got to get the loot back. They own the loot. They've taken our flag, if that makes sense. So um you'll 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 see how we play this one out now. Just um oh, I, shoot out. I, we... I shoot out, they're trying to pull it up, they're trying to put it out, shoot out. Okay. Yeah, shoot out the cannon. They don't think that watches. Not when I'm hammering them the cannons. Yep, they're, they're, gone. they're basically gone. Beautiful. And that's how you fucking PvP. Sway, sway, lords. Holy shit. Now that, as I just said, is how you PvP. That is how you PvP. That's a masterclass. That, that alone should teach you so much if you're newer to the game or if you're not so great at PvP that hopefully that has just taught you so much now there's more to this video so don't click away just yet there's only there's a bit more but um yeah that deck shot by me where i landed on their canopy oh beautiful a little bit lucky but i did calculate it slightly so either even if i didn't make that i was going to make the ladder board so it would have had the same effect just everything about that sam coming in being like okay cool they're raising their mast chew over I, he was also i also saw he was in a good enough position to get the cannon shots so we take that we gain control of their ship i managed to kill one because i know he's been hit by a cannonball easy pistol shot then the other one's clueless as to what's happening i'm not sure what happened there but um yeah that wow yeah that uh, yeah now uh, we actually ended up getting all of the loot out of the fort got it on our ship raised reapers got grade five and uh, sailed to reapers hideout and the funny thing is the sloop and the galleon that we actually sunk they started fighting and they completely ignored us so we sailed over to reapers and they were fighting in like maybe two grids to the east just fighting by four of the damned for absolutely no reason over the nothing literally completely nothing and uh, we're just at reapers selling all the athena loot just having a blast you know so uh yeah that happened anyway the galleon ended up sinking uh to uh, a kraken <laughs> they actually got krakened they were not having a very good day feels bad for them such is sea of thieves anyway uh, and then the sloop came in and we had one final battle and uh, it was not very not very great it was kind of just uh, an easy sink again um but yeah, we let's let's watch it. Let's give it a look. Chain shots, hit the mast yeah. down. I'll oh, just suicide circle. They're coming right for us. I'm gonna keep it here like this. 
Let me know if you lose the angle. That wasn't bad. That's gonna almost hit. Yeah, but if it wasn't for the wave. Oh, these waves are cocking me right now. Oh, never mind, I got it. Got it. Twice. That'll stop from boiling. Now, real quick, you may be wondering, why is he aiming so high? Why? What, what, what's happening? Why is he not going for bottom holes? This is something that I mentioned earlier. You want to try and get them off their ship. Likelihood is they're going to be on top of their ship. There's going to be one on the wheel, one on the cannons. You hit the guy on the wheel, you can one ball him and he's dead out of the equation. Either the guy's going to go to res him and that gives you time to shoot him with a cannonball or you can jump off and board and surprise them and one shot one of them and then you're in a 1v1. Or you can uh, completely just knock them off their ship and now what you're going to do, you're going to board before they get back on. You have control of their ship, you have the high ground, you're in the position of power. I hit him off, his, I hit him off the cannon. Nice. I'm swimming over. They're repairing. Aim of the cannon again. I have to repair our ship. You do what you can. Yeah, you should have jumped off way earlier because now it's a really bad situation for you. Nice. Killed him again. Both dead. What a stunning display coming in from me. Crazy or logic, as you hear most people call me, because that was my old alias. Um, what a stunning display. You know, you see me get a nice pistol kill, then a backtrack sniper. Totally deserved, by the way. And then I get a nice pistol shot on someone. He gets a pistol shot on me. And then I blunderbomb him. Blunderbombs in this game are the biggest annoyance ever. I use them to my advantage in every single fight. If you come to any one of my streams, I'm always using blunder bombs in PvP because they change the situation. Both of your guns are out of ammo. Oh, you have a blunder bomb. Just hit them point blank, make it land on them. That's half health gone. And they're flying through the air. So, um, just truly, truly spectacular. Oh, and by the way, don't mind Sam here. He's just making sure they're sunk. He's just like double check, triple, quadruple checking that they've sunk. <laughs> Stop! They're already dead. <laughs> We're just making sure. We're just making sure. <laughs> Well, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please let me know down in the comments. I love reading all of your feedback and uh, chatting to all of you. And uh, also, if you've made it up until this point, then uh, today's comment of the day is going to be TDM with a question mark. It should be on the screen now. So just leave a comment saying TDM and uh, I'll know you're a real one and you stuck through till the end. Anyway. That about wraps up for today's video. I'm going to leave the ending here just showing the little interaction I had with the guy at the end of the game. Um, it was actually pretty wholesome and pretty nice. Be like this guy. Be like GG, well done, you're good, um, and stuff like that. Don't be toxic and salty like I am sometimes, um, which you will hopefully never see because uh, I don't like it when I'm like that. But anyway, um, let's just uh, get into the uh, the outro, basically. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe. Please leave a comment. All that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Um, were you the guys that were from the start, like, in the line? Nope. Uh, we were three people there in two, no, in three, in three sloops. Six people in three sloops. We were stuck on the island the whole time. The, the, no, the, 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 the galleon came and the other sloops just started sort of shooting at each other. I don't know what it was. <laughs> um, but we, 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 we were stuck, stuck on the island, island the whole time. Wait. You were what? Can you repeat that? We were tough time during the whole the thing. thing. From from the very start. Well, from, from the very beginning. beginning. Yep. Yep. Were you like just standing behind the mountains the whole the entire time? I was. So uh, he was hiding somewhere else. I see. I see. Well, well played. I guess. We thought, we thought the we thought the galleon got away with everything, but we were glad they didn't because they were annoying. Ah. Uh, uh, uh.
are we end this off? We just kill him. Well, oh, good, good game. game. Yeah. GG. See you, see you around. See ya. See you, lad.